Welcome to Scott Slasher World. This week, I'm gonna be showing off items that I picked up from the Colt shop. First up this week is the Power Glove. The Power Glove for your NES. Now you and the games are one. Everything else is child's play. I love the power glove. It's so bad. I love the power glove. It's so bad. I'm super thrilled to actually own a power glove. I've never owned a power glove. I always wanted one as a kid, especially after watching The Wizard. Uh, really, really nice power glove. It fits on my hand. Uh, I want to plug it in and uh, see if it works. It's so, so rad. Next up this week is the Super Nintendo. When you decide to step up to this kind of power, this kind of challenge, this kind of flying, crashing feeling, when you decide to get serious, there's only one place to come, the games of Super Nintendo. No one else creates this kind of experience because no one else creates these kinds of games. Now you're playing with power, super power. You know, I've never actually owned a Super NES. I am thrilled to actually get this into the collection and start collecting Super Nintendo games. As a kid, uh, of course, I started with an Atari, went to Nintendo, and then from there, I had a Sega Genesis because I love Sega, as you all know if you've been watching my videos. And then from there I went to a place, I waited for a long time and then I got a PS1 and then, you know, I've got a PS4 now. But man, this right here is awesome. I picked up a game with it that I got there and I'll be showing that off next. But I can't wait to add more games to the Super NES collection. And since I got a Super NES, I had an out of game, and he had Super Castlevania 4 for the Super Nintendo. I love this game. I popped this game in as soon as I got home. Uh, I've been playing it almost nonstop. This game is awesome. Graphics are great. I uh, love the gameplay. It's challenging, it's, but it's not too difficult. Um, it's just it's perfect. It's a perfect game, and uh, I look forward to beating this one. I also picked up a horror VHS while I was there. I picked up Witch Trap. A really cool cover on this one. Um, I always wanted Witch Trap uh, since I have uh, Witchboard 2 and 3. Uh, really cool. I like the, uh, the label on the VHS on this one. Uh, look forward to watching this one. I've actually never watched Witch Trap by Kevin S. Tenney. Um, this one also has Linnea Quigley in it. You can't go wrong with Linnea Quigley. And the last item I got from the cult shop this week is a flat out Sega Genesis classic, and that is Contra Hardcore. Great graphics, uh, super, super challenging. I love the power-ups. I love the uh, colors in this. Everything about Contra Hardcore is great, except maybe the, uh, in typical Contra fashion, one, you know, one hit and you're dead. But I don't know, it makes it more challenging. I need to, I'd like to play it with two players to get further, but man, I love, love, love this game. I've been playing it nonstop, as well as Castlevania 4, two great games that I picked up this week. And uh, I will show this and the uh, Castlevania cartridge close up at the end of the video, and I'll show a little something special too, so stick around for that. That's all for this week in front of the camera. If you'd like to follow the Cult Shop, I will put their Facebook link in the video description. And as always, please help me grow this channel by leaving me a comment, by liking, by subscribing, and hitting that bell notification so you never miss a video. 
All right, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. So I figured I'd show these carts close up because they're very difficult to see. Uh, but here is Super Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo. Konami knew what they were doing, that's for sure. Uh, man, this is such a great game. Um, and another great game by Konami was Contra Hardcore. Sega Genesis Classic, love this game. I uh, look forward to just playing this more. Both of them, I wanna beat both of these. I have a feeling Contra is gonna be the difficult one because my lord, it's difficult. And then um, I'm gonna show off a video. So I went, I passed my uh, drone test uh, the other day and after the drone test, I was super, super happy. So I figured I'd go to a game store in Roanoke. Well, it's usually a bad idea because I picked up like nine titles. Uh, here's one of them. And this came from Game Junkies. Yeah, like I said, I picked up a ton. So I guess my next video will be on that. Um, also look forward to me showing off some stuff from Welcome Back Collectibles. I'm also doing a TV commercial as we speak for Welcome Back Collectibles. So you'll be seeing that on your TV screens very, very soon. But just take a look at the beauty of this Batman Returns Sega Genesis. I love it. Um, kind of a difficult game so far that I've played. I haven't played it a whole lot. I, I gotta be honest, man. Super Castlevania 4 and Contra Hardcore has been taking up a lot of my time. They're, they're, so, mu they're so much fun. But I will get further than this and man, I mean, you can't pass up a game with a cover like that. All right, everybody, I will see you next week. Uh, please leave me a comment, uh, like the, the video, and share it. Share it on your socials.